welcome back to GDX Academy. Uh, I'm here to take you guys on Polygon. So, without wasting much of your time, let's quickly go into it. Um, Polygon is any closed figure which is bounded by at least three straight lines. So, if you want to recognize the polygon, it must have at least three straight lines. And it is a polygon is usually named by the number of side it has. For example, we have um, for the number of side of three, we have triangle because it has three number of si um, amount of sides. We have quadrilateral, which is four side. We have pentagon, which is five side. Hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, on decagon, duo, decagon, which have their various amount of sides here. Polygon. We have the convex polygon, reentrant polygon, equilateral, regular polygon, and equinangular. For the convex polygon, each of the three angles is less than 180. For the reentrant polygon, for the reentrant polygon, each of the three angles is greater than. 180 or you can see one or more of its interior angles is a reflex then for the collateral all of its sides are equal for the collateral all the sides are equal for equinangular which is the number five all angles are equal then for regular polygon all sides and all angles are equal then this is the formula derived for looking for the sum of the interior angle and that's for the yes, quickly take note, take note of something. For the first formula here, it is used to look for the angle, given the number of sides. While the other formula here, which is n minus 2 times 180 over n, it is used to look for the numbers of sides, given the angle. So, do we look so into that? Like they have 180 n minus 165 n. Is equals to 360 degrees. Therefore, 180 n minus 165 n is equals to 15 n equals to 360. Therefore, you divide both sides by 15. Then, therefore, you have 360 divided by 15, which is equals to 24. Therefore, our n is equals to 24 sides. That is the answer for this question above. Easy as that. So cheap and simple. Alright guys, this is the first question for today. And it says, each angle of a regular polygon is 165 degrees. How many sides has it? Alright, so you are looking for the number of sides here, given the angle. Okay, therefore, using the second formula, n minus 2 in brackets. 180 degree divided by n so it's equal to each 165 degree all right first of all you cross multiply therefore you have n minus 2 in brackets 180 is equals to 165 n you expand this bracket you have 180 n minus 360 degree it equals to 165 n. You collect like them. So you collect like them. So guys, you have another question yeah, here. Yeah, for it is one angle of an octagon is 156 degree. Find each of the other angle if they are equal to each other. Fine. So what is the angle of an octagon? We don't know, but we know that an octagon, an octagon, has eight sides. So you can guess the angle of the octagon here. Therefore, 8 minus 2, 6, 180. Remember, to look for the angle. So our n here is 8, in brackets, 180. Therefore, that will be 6 times 180. Equals to 1,080 near. Oh, 1,080 degrees, my bad. <laughs> um... <laughs> So this is the angle for some of the angle for an, of an octagon. So angle this is the octagon. angle for an octagon. Therefore, what's the next step? We are told that one of those angles is what? 
156 degrees so therefore let us subtract it from it minus 156 degree so we have this will give us 924 degree then so it will remain how many angles it will remain seven more angles and we are told that the remaining seven angles are equal to each other therefore we should divide this by seven if you divide 924 by 7, then we have 132 sides. So the rest are 132. That is our answer. 132 degree. If you have any question on this, ask so in the comment section. Question is it, Find the number of sides of a polygon if each interior angle is 150 degree. Alright. So, we are told to look for the number of sides. It's equal to 150 degree. Cross multiply. 180 and minus 360. It's equal to 150 degree. 150 and cross, cross multiply. So we call it like times that's 180n minus 150n is equal to 360. Therefore, we have 30n is equal to 360. You divide both sides by 30. Therefore, our n is equal to 12 sides. So another question says the angle of hexagonal y in brackets y plus 15 bracket um command y plus 25 y plus 35, y plus 45, and y plus 54. Find y. Therefore, here's our solution. You know that hexagon is equal to 720 degrees. Because it has six sides. So you don't need to do the workings for that. You can always figure out that yourself. Therefore, you have y plus y plus 15 plus y plus 25 plus y plus 25 plus y plus 45 plus so the other y plus 720 plus degrees therefore you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 you have 6y plus if you sum up all of this you have 174 degree you equate it to 720 degree therefore you call it like them 6y is equal to 720 degrees minus 174 degrees okay 720 minus 174 degrees you give us 546 which is equal to 6y you divide both sides by 6 so once you do that you our uh, y therefore is equal to 91 degrees. What is the ninth angle of a non argon if others are each 124 degrees? Okay, we know that the degree for non argon is um, non argon has nine sides, therefore, seven times 180. It equals to 126. Non argon. It equals to 1260 degree. So we are told that what is the ninth angle if others damage the remaining eight are 124. So 124 degree times eight. That should give us 992 degree. 992 degree. So this equals to then we are told to look for the ninth one. So it's plus the ninth one. You can replace it with x, which is unknown, is equal to 1260 degree. You collect like times s is equal to 1260 degree minus 992 degree. Therefore, our answer will be our x is equal to. 268 degree. That is our final answer for this 268 degree.
That's the ninth angle. If others are 126. When x is 60. And if the two other angles are x plus 30 and 2x minus 65. Of course, we all know that the sum of the triangle is 180. So first, let's sort out this. We are told that x is what? x is 60. Therefore, this second angle will be what? 60 plus 30. Which is equal to 90. And this. 2x. 2 in brackets. 10. Um, 60, 60 rather. Minus 65. Which is equal to 120 minus 65. Which is equal to... Fifty-five. That's true. So therefore, the sum of everything is. Can I present the unknown is y plus ninety plus fifty-five is equal to one eighty degree. Therefore, y plus this will be one forty-five is equal to one eighty degree. Remember, it's in degree. Uh, y is equal to one eighty degree. Minus 145 degree. Therefore, y is equal to 35 degree. That's our answer. Alright, guys, this is also a polygon question. I'm sure most of you guys have not seen something like this before. So, you can just represent this with A, B, and C. So, we are told to look for X. We have 75 here, we have 28 here, and we have 16 degree. So, we are told to look for S. Well, first, we have to look for this missing figure here. Let's represent it with Y. So, you draw a line to cover it up. Therefore, this will be small a, small b. And if you note, this already form a triangle which is equal to what, 180. Therefore, for triangle A, B, and C, A plus 28 degree, plus b so we are left with plus 16. let's work to do since our y is equal to 119 notice this forms a circle x and y sum of x and y is what it's equal to 360 degree so our x is unknown plus y is 119 degree is equal to 360 you call it like times In degree our x is equal to 241 degree thank you question for today um so as you can see it's so let's represent this with x of course we all know that the sum of and um, quadrilateral is 360 so let's say x plus 113 degrees goes to 3 160. We collect like times. That will be x equals to 360 minus 113 degree. That will give us 247 degree. x is equals to 247. We put it there. That is the first step. So this is that is being sorted out. Therefore, we have to look for y. So for us to get why the sum of this, of all these four points, just not for today. Um, so as you can see, it's, so let's represent this with x. Of course, we all know that the sum of and um, quadrilateral is 360. So let's say x plus 113 degrees goes to 360. We collect like times. That will be x equals to 360 minus 113 degree. That will give us 247 degree. X is equals to 247. We put it there. That is the first step. So this is that is being sorted out. Therefore, we have to look for y. So for us to get y, the sum of this, of all these four points, Therefore, y plus 62 plus 31 plus 
247 degree yeah, in degrees is equals to 360 degree therefore the sum of this is 340 degree is equals to 360 degree plus y therefore our y is equals to 360 minus 340 degree our y is equals to 20 degree so that's all for today kindly like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you are just watching this for the first time if you are watching our visiting our channel for the first time kindly do so and help us share with your friends thank you